Like and subscribe to this video if you like what we're doing here at The Official. And moving on right along, uh, David, Lincoln Cure, tight end two. We talked about a guy committed to Georgia. This guy um, is right behind him. And, you know, is he is he elite like Elias Williams? What do you think about Lincoln Cure out of Kansas? I was a big fan of his tape. But, um, yeah, so he's a tight end two, 34 overall. overall. Um we usually go in the database that we have, we go for the shortest height we can find typically. Um, so six, four and a half is what on three has. I've seen him listed anywhere between 210 and 225. So that's pretty good at this stage. Um, I, I would expect him to get to that 645 or the 245 area at some point. Um, he's out of Goodland, Kansas um, high school there, 155th ranked team in Kansas. Uh, really, really bad team, honestly, really bad. Uh, negative 25 power rating on maps prep. That's, that's very low. And they play a negative 8.5 strength of schedule. Um, but his tape is very fun, as you'd imagine, going against a, a bunch of zombies. But I, I think, like, there's enough, um, you know, standalone athletic measurements to, to, to say that, like, he's just very athletic regardless. But... You know, so like his 200 meter dash is 2245, which is in our database, it's fifth best of tight ends behind um, some notable guys, Juwan Johnson, Ladarius Green, a couple athletic players there. Um, you know, about an 85th percentile athlete based off of the data that we have so far. Um, really productive. Again, I like tight ends that ha average more than 20 yards per catch in, in, high, in high school. He, you know, he's at 22.5 as a junior, as a junior, you know, bunch of almost two touchdowns a game. But, you know, I think he's real sudden. I think he's got the, the speed that we like at the position. You know, uh, he's also like a three, I think a three sport athlete, a really good basketball player. He's got tons of dunks and, and you know, like reverse dunks and, and blocks and um i don't know i just i i like his movement is the biggest thing i think like i prefer these guys that are you know in the six four area um that can see that i mean he can beat guys in a phone booth like i said you know the, the competition's bad but regardless like he just looks good to me um has good ball skills um so basically like i think i think what i want to see most is you know, improving, just continue to improve production. Um, they kind of always want to see that. You just want to see guys that are ascending in general. But I would really love to see him at an all-star game and just see how he – I know tight ends don't typically, like, really, like, stand out at all-stars, but it would be nice to see him go against, you know, maybe some of the better um, linebackers or safeties or whoever is going to be at the at those events just to, just to make sure because, you know – I feel good about him, but you never know. Maybe it is. He's just beating up on bad competition. So it would be nice to see him uh, stand out in that regard. And then the other thing is just he doesn't really have much blocking on there. So we've gone back and forth on, on how much we care about that. But you, you guys can talk more about blocking if you want. <laughs> Matt, I'll hold my opinion here and go last. What do you think of Lincoln Kerr? Uh, yeah, I mean, I really like him. If he did have blocking on his tape, I would probably just say he's my tight end one. But there is none. And for me, that's a big concern because if you don't, then you're just going to end up being a package tight end. And we, we want these guys on the field every down for you know, tight end fantasy production. That's just kind of how it goes. Uh, I mean, extremely good after the catch. I mean, he can really shake guys. He's out there hitting like spin moves on these Kansas high schoolers. It's really unfair. Uh, definitely probably a bit of a project player in that, you know, he is really just dominating these guys on his athleticism currently. We don't really get to see him run very, uh, very varied route tree. Uh, it's really just goes and uh, a few short stuff, some screens and things like that. Uh, but, you know, I mean, physically he's exactly, I think, what we're looking for in this modern day age tight end. He's big. He moves like he is, you know, 190. Uh, and, yeah, you just got to hope that he can build on that and uh, become a complete tight end. Yeah, you know, well said. And, and in the intro, I talked about a few guys that seem to move like they're smaller. And he was one of them. Man, I was watching 
you know, the tape and I was like, oh, you know, I hadn't looked at his metrics or stats just yet. And I was like, oh, I bet this is one of those like six, two and a half, six, three, you know, 210 pound tight end prospects that just, if they're not that tall, they're, they're probably have a limited upside. And then I go and look and like, you know, uh, 24 seven has him as six, six on three, six, four and a half. So if he's even close to six, you know, a good solid six, four pushing six, five, you know, that's NFL level, you know, measurements. And he moves like a guy who just seems to be a lot smaller, like a Brock Bowers, um, who's, I guess, six, four, as it turns out, we all thought he was going to be shorter, but um, uh, the, the, the guy who's coming up behind Bowers, and now I can't remember his name, Luke, uh, Luke something, he's kind of smaller, six, two, six, three. So um, I know we're, I'm teasing out one inch difference, but that does matter for future NFL potential, I think, and how the, the league is going to view him. But, uh, you know, he just he looks great. Like you said, stutter step, stop, yards after catch. I mean, he looks really sudden, uh, which is fantastic. Kind of reminds me of how I thought, you know, Andrew Rapelier looked, but he's bigger and um, there's no blocking, though. Uh, although there was that pretty nice defensive end clip where he, you know, was – taking on a blocker and then shed it and ran all the way downfield, make a tackle. I think he's a dog. I think he's probably a dog. He's probably tough. Um, we'll just have to see if he develops technique or he needs to develop technique to become uh, an all around tight end, but certainly a guy I'm going to have pretty high up. And, you know, we, we like tight ends here at C2C. I think it's a place you can get in a little advantage. 